Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to simplify a ratio. In other words, how to write a ratio in lowest terms. And really, this is just like simplifying fractions. When we simplify a ratio, we divide both terms, the numbers of a ratio, by their greatest common factor. This will give us the smallest possible numbers and value to represent a ratio. A simplified ratio, or ratio in lowest terms, is still equivalent to the original ratio. So we are not changing the comparison or relationship that that ratio represents. We are just getting to the simplest, smallest numbers in value that we possibly can to represent that ratio. Let's jump into number one, where we have nine to 21. Now you can simplify a ratio from whatever form it is originally in. So if it has a colon, if it's in fractional form, or using the word two. I'm actually going to take our ratio and rewrite it in fractional form. So it's just like simplifying a fraction. So we have nine to 21. Now we need to think of common factors between nine and 21, numbers that we can divide both nine and 21 by. Well, three is a common factor, and it happens to be the greatest common factor, the largest number in value that we can divide both nine and 21 by. So let's divide nine by three and 21 by three. 9 divided by 3 is 3, 21 divided by 3 is 7, so we get 3 to 7. The greatest common factor between 3 and 7 is 1, so we are in simplest form. 3 to 7 is our simplified ratio. Now, like I mentioned earlier, you can simplify from the original form of a ratio, so however it is originally written. So before moving on to number two, I do wanna show you that we can divide both the nine and 21 by three up here as well. So divide by three, divide by three, and we get three, two, seven that way as well. Now we can also take the fractional form of our simplified ratio and rewrite it using a colon, three, two, seven, or using the word two. All of those ratios mean the same thing, so three to seven, or three to seven. Let's move on to number two, where we have 30 to six. I'll rewrite this ratio as a fraction as well. So 30 to six. Now we need to think of common factors between 30 and six. I'm going to start by using the greatest common factor and simplify this ratio in one step. Then we'll take a look at what it looks like to simplify in multiple steps. So the greatest common factor between 30 and six is six. So let's divide both of these by six. 30 divided by six is five. Six divided by six is one. The greatest common factor between five and one is one. So this is our simplified ratio, five to one. Now that is an improper fraction, but we want to leave it as an improper fraction because this is a ratio. A ratio compares and shows the relationship between two quantities or numbers. So again, let's leave it as an improper fraction. So we have those two numbers that are being compared. So now we're going to go through a different path that we can simplify this ratio. Let me rewrite 30 to six. So we're not going to use the greatest common factor of six. We're actually going to start with two. Two is a common factor between 30 and six. So let's divide 30 by two and six by two. 30 divided by two is 15. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we got 15 to 3, which is different than 5 to 1. Well, that's because we still have other common factors 
other than 1 that we can divide 15 and 3 by here to further simplify this, to further break this down. Well, 3 is a common factor between 15 and 3, so let's divide 15 by 3 and 3 by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we ended up with 5 to 1 that way as well. So keep in mind that there can be multiple paths to simplifying a ratio, just like when we simplify fractions. And again, we can simplify from that original form. Let's divide by 6 up here as well. So 30 divided by 6 and 6 divided by 6, that gives us 5 to 1. And again, we can always rewrite our ratio in the form that we would like. So for example, we can take our fractional form and rewrite this using a colon, so 5 to 1, or using the word 2. All of those ratios mean the same thing, 5 to 1. Now I do want to mention one more thing, and that's that a ratio can be in simplest form from the start. If the greatest common factor between the terms of a ratio is 1, then it's already in simplest form, and you can't do any more simplifying. So that's something to keep in mind. So there you have it. There's how you simplify ratios. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Peace.